Alright YouTube, so I'm back with another video. Um, I just finished month five. Month five was my last month um, on Accutane and I went to the dermatologist yesterday. The only thing she said was I had great improvement and she asked me if I had any concerns about texture and dark marks um, and I really don't. I think if I just keep up my regimen, I'll be good. Um, what else did she say? Oh, she said she's going to put me on retinol, which I think is going to help out a lot. I think now I'm going to start using rosehip oil. Um, I, I tried to use it at the beginning of this journey, but my skin was very sensitive. But she said now my skin shouldn't be sensitive towards the end. So she said I could start using lightning pads and rosehip oil and different things. Um... So I'm going to see how that goes. And if not, then I'll possibly do a laser treatment. But I mean, that's it. As far as side effects, this month, the side effect I have, I have on a towel, by the way, but it looks like I don't have on anything. So she says as far as side effects, the, um, not she said as far as side effects. As far as side effects, what I was going to say is, um, the only thing I had, which was, it was extremely horrible, which is something I've been having was that my nose was very, very dry to the point where it sting even if I touched it. Um, I couldn't tell if it was a scab from it, like bleeding and me, like rubbing my nose so much, or if it was a booger, I'm just going to flat out say it. So it was really, really stinging and it was really, really dry and I could put my nasal spray in there and it would still be dry. And it was just like every time I would rub it, you know, I would have blood on my hand. I could just rub it like that. And it was just blood on my hand. Or, um, you know, if I would just clean my nose or anything, it was bleeding like something ridiculous. And um, it was only one nostril. So I got so sick of like feeling like that. Like I would be asleep and there was blood for my nose. So I stopped actually taking it for probably like a full week or something like that. And I've started back this week and I haven't had any of those side effects. So I guess I probably just had too much in my system and it needed to take a break. So technically I went to the doctor for the end of month five yesterday, but I have two more packages, which is about a full week, seven days worth. Um, I just finished one package. So tomorrow when I wake up in the morning, I will be starting on that um, second to the last packet. And then next week I'll be completely done. She told me not to start on the, um, the Retin-A until probably like three or four weeks after this kind of wears out my system. She says that this will prolong the results and hopefully it will make it last for forever. But she says that um, since I'm already so dry, she just she doesn't want me to put the Retin-A in right after. So I'll probably chill for three weeks and then I'll start taking the Retin-A. Um... She told me also, oh, I had to do blood work again this time, even though I didn't have a month six of prescription. And then she said 30 days again from yesterday, I'll have to come back and do a urine test, not a blood test, but a urine test just to make sure I'm not pregnant. And then after that, I guess maybe a month or so, then I can get my eyebrows waxed and go back to all of those different things. So... That's that. That's pretty much my update. Um, one other thing that I will say is that I have switched to this. I think I said I was using Cetaphil, but um, after watching some skin videos, because ever since I've kind of gotten on Accutane, I've been watching more and more skin videos on the upkeep of it afterwards. And I was watching this famous dermatologist um, for the celebrities and she was saying that Cetaphil has been linked to cancer so I actually done some research and it was true that they had found that was actually even though it feels gentle and the dermatologists are saying it's gentle it is actually a very harsh chemicals in there so I switched to this 
and um this is supposed to be yeah this has no harsh chemicals no artificial perfumes and dyes i'm assuming when they say no harsh chemicals no parabens yeah i'm looking on the back and i don't see those things so plus they say anytime you have acne prone skin um a foam wash is better than a bar or a typical liquid wash um so that's that and um i guess i will do an update maybe about a month after i've finished with the retin-a just to show you like how it's maintaining and then maybe i'll do three months once it comes of kind of wears out of my system a little bit um just to show you like maybe my oil glands kind of coming back to normal but not having the acne just a comparison um so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time oh and please rate and subscribe below thank you Hi everyone, so this is my one month update and here's my skin. Um, I'm going to be showing some products that I've been using for the upkeep so far. I don't know why I'm not looking in the lens. But um, yeah, I'm going to be showing some updates of some updated products on my skin and what I've been using to maintain. Um, it looks very clear. I'm going to insert some pictures. Like, I still have this, but I've been going to an esthetician once a month now, and she's told me to use some vitamin C serum. So, I found a vitamin C serum, and here it is. I'm going to put a lot of stuff. I got this from Ulta, so. But I'm going to actually show a picture of, like, my whole entire routine of what I use. My hair is a little crazy, but um, this is during the whole quarantine process. So it was just Sunday night. It's no need and I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be going to my living room for work. So that's pretty much that. Just wanted to show my skin because I kind of wasn't consistent on updating the last month. So I'm going to do combine the two videos and yeah. So that's it. Like when I take pictures, it's completely clear. Like people can't see like these little marks on my cheeks. I even had someone say to me like, is that filtered or just a little bit makeup? I'll show you the picture I put in this support group for girls on Accutane. People were like, wow. Um, but, and then I'm gonna show like a before and after picture so people can really compare. Um, but yeah, that's it. Everything's going strong and smooth. I still really haven't um, been using my retinol like that. I've been, just because the product, the retinol actually dries out your skin. I don't really want my skin to feel dry. This is kind of what I've been putting on at night. Like after I wash my face, I either put this on or I put the, the vitamin C Derma E. I kind of rotate back and forth and that, that, Product in the blue keeps it hydrated. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll just keep giving updates. Um, if anyone wants...